dear students now this is the last lecture on this oxidative addition reaction series and in this lecture uh, i will discuss about the radical mechanism of uh, oxidative addition and here the uh, the reagents are uh, the polar reagents are there and these are organohalides so organohalides can be oxidatively add through radical mechanism in the oxidative addition reactions the radical mechanism uh, it can be divided into two types one is non chain radical mechanism and other is chain radical mechanism so you can understand with the help of the name non chain mean it's uh, uh, it terminate easily the reaction can terminate easily and in this reaction single electron transfer from metal complex to organohalide first so single electron from metal it transfer to the organohalide and very fast the the generation of two radicals will takes place and these two radicals the recombine uh, very fastly and form product so this is a non chain kind of uh, uh, this radical mechanism uh, this is the simple example in this radical mechanism we can see that this is a complex uh, when it reacts with organohalide the metal center that is platinum it it can provide the electron pair this uh, electron a single electron to this uh, rx and after giving this electron uh, they they uh, disintegrate into two radicals and these two radicals they very fastly they recombine to form the product and this product is oxidative addition product and uh, this is non chain product because there is uh, no chain propagation and this is the red determining step here two reactants are participating so again it is second order reaction and this is the fast step where these two free radicals uh, which are formed uh, during uh, the donation of electron from this metal center to this organohalide uh, this reacts fast and then they can form the product and this uh, the product formation or the the mechanism it depends upon this kind of mechanism it depends upon two kinds of factors mm. the factors are of the metal uh, one factor is the metal so more basic the metal metal should be electron rich if the metal is electron rich then it can easily donate its electron to the rx to the organic halide so it more readily transfer the electron from r uh, to the rx sigma star orbital so it is the requirement for the non chain type of radical mechanism because electron transfer from metal to rx sigma bond so it will transfer only if the electron rich metal species is there and the second factor is the uh, the alkyl halide the uh, the organic halide more stable the radical species more fast the reaction more more stable so the the species will be formed only when the species is stable so the reactivity uh, we, have, has the order tertiary uh, red, uh, this tertiary alkyl halide then secondary alkyl halide and the primary alkyl halide is the least reactive in this non chain mechanism so because this non chain mechanism depends upon the uh, the stability of r and the the electron uh, Uh, efficiency of the metal atom so if the elect metal atom is efficient uh, and the uh, uh, the radical species is stable then uh, the reaction uh, the mechanism will be non chain radical mechanism now the second mechanism is chain radical mechanism uh, this name can define its kind of mechanism chain means it will go to the infinite time the chain will be formed there will be chain initiation there will be chain propagation and then this is a chain kind of radical mechanism this in this mechanism continuation continuous generation of radicals will takes place reaction between radical intermediates and or with the starting material can takes place 
रिएक्शन बिटवीन द जनरेटेड रेडिकल्स दे दिस कैन बी टेक्स प्लेस और विद द स्टार्टिंग विद द रेडिकल मे रिएक्ट विद द स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल सो दैट दे प्रोपागेट द चेन रिएक्शन फ्री रेडिकल स्केवेंजर्स कैन स्टॉप द दिस काइंड ऑफ रिएक्शन टू कंट्रोल दिस रिएक्शन रेडिकल ट्रैप्स मे बी एडेड टू द रिएक्शन सो दैट द चेन कैन बी टर्मिनेट्स सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ चेन रेडिकल मैकेनिज्म i will show with the help of the example of chain radical mechanism this is a chain uh, radical mechanism where these steps are of chain initiation so in this example i have shown this platinum complex and this platinum complex is uh, in presence of uh, this light photon it converts into radical and this radical when react with this Uh, polar species this is isopropyl iodide and then it it reacts with this isopropyl iodide and then it it uh, it generates a free radical free radical when reacts with the reagent it it generates free radicals this is the free radical and this is the free radical so addition of iodide and the formation of isopropyl free radical and again this isopropyl free radical then can again uh, react with uh, sorry this is the previous uh, radical so this can again react with this radical and this this it can again form this uh, isopropyl radical so uh, you can see that this is a chain initiation and in this chain initiation this isopropyl radical formed again and again and this will uh, uh, followed by the uh, chain propagation reaction and this is the chain propagation step of the chain mechanism and you can see that the the generated uh, isopropyl radical can react with the initial material so it can react with the initial material or can react with the intermediate species so this generated free radical can react with the initial material and thus forming again this free radical generated this free radical can again react with this a uh, reagent and again it can form isopropyl free radical and thus this reaction can uh, 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 go through a chain reaction so this is a kind of uh, chain uh, propagation chain uh, chain radical mechanism of oxidative addition reactions so sometimes this chain type of propagation reactions takes place and sometimes non chain propagation reactions takes place which do not require any a radical trap but this kind of reaction they require radical trap to terminate the reaction and this group is phenanthrolene group and this is phenanthrolene group and uh, this is all about the ionic mechanism i think uh, you can easily understand uh, the radical mechanism radical mechanism includes two kind of uh, reactions that are chain radical mechanism and non chain radical mechanism so uh, for for non chain radical mechanism uh, there uh, is requirement of metal and ligand the metal uh, should be uh, metal electron rich so that it can donate to the uh, ab type uh, sigma orbital uh, and then uh, the what is the requirement for uh, this metal halide uh, the radical generated should be uh, stable so radical generated uh, will be stable only when it is a tertiary uh, alkyl group so this is all about the ionic mechanism uh, i think you will be able to understand this mechanism and this is all about the oxidative addition reactions oxidative addition reactions if if we i again conclude that oxidative addition reactions they are the reactions in which oxidation and addition takes place and uh, in, in these reactions Uh, can be uh, can occur through the addition of polar reagent or non polar reagents uh, the addition of polar reagents takes place through sn2 radical mechanism and ionic mechanism while that of non polar reagent takes place through concerted mechanism so thank you very much uh, for listening uh, this lecture and uh, i i will be happy if you understand each and every point of this lecture so thanks again